Okay, this is lesson two. So we got if you have two motors, one, two, and you connect it to the battery, you basically have two and they're going they're going about the same speed. Trying to slow down. No, there we go. There we go. They're almost. Alright, you can never get them to go exactly the same speed. One's very slightly faster. Anyway, if it was just one, it goes a lot faster. If it's two, they don't go so fast because they each block or use some of the electricity. So in other words, we have this. You might find a pencil. Some the current comes out of the battery. No, you don't really want me to draw this, do you? And it goes into the motor. And then that current has to come out of that motor, go into the next motor. And then it goes back to the battery. And each one of those, that slows down some of the current. And that, so that one goes slower. But that one also slows down some of the current. So that one goes slower. That's why they both go slower. But if we suppose we put this is a old fashioned light I don't know why I put LED on it <laughs> suppose we connect that across this is never going to work is it suppose we connect that light across that motor. Now when we put this in some of the current, some of the electricity will go through the light and go to back to the battery and some of it will go through that motor and go back to the battery. So we turn it on. The light was just glowing. Oh yeah you can see the light is just glowing tends to go out of it. Now, can you see the bottom one is going very slowly, the top one is going faster. So what is happening here is that this current is still going into there, but now we've got the light and some current is going into the light and then going that way back to the battery. So there's less going into there. So we get rid of that. There's actually now only a small amount going into there. Some goes through the light. But both of those have to go through that. So that one goes faster. So that's taking more current. And that one goes slow. Just to show you again. Battery goes through there. All of the current goes through that motor but then it can go either through this light or it can go through there so when we turn it on the light comes on a bit and that only goes through a small one in fact if I disconnect the light by unscrewing it now they're both going at the same speed in fact that one slowed down because now the current can only go through there and get slowed down by that motor. But if I let some of the current go round that motor and through there, there'll actually be more current in there. So you turn that, you connect that, and then that top one goes a lot faster than the bottom one.